Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Today we're still in the first 12 verses of Mark chapter 10, where Jesus is talking about marriage. He said, what God has joined together, let not man separate. And then when he leaves the presence of the crowd and also the Pharisees who ask him the question, it says in verse 10, in the house his disciples also ask him again about the same matter. So he said to them, whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if a woman divorces her husband, and marries another, she commits adultery. Now, listen to what he said again. Marriage is for life. You divorce and you marry somebody else, you commit adultery against your original spouse, which means that God does not recognize your divorce and remarriage. At least that's what it appears here. To commit adultery means to be sexually unfaithful to someone with whom you are married. So, Adultery indicates that God still has not fully recognized the divorce and the remarriage, that he didn't authorize that. Is there an exception to this rule? Well, Matthew chapter 19 says, except it be for fornication. And while it's not mentioned in Mark, he certainly mentions it in Matthew, that unfaithfulness, sexual unfaithfulness, can be grounds for divorce and remarriage. But that's the exception. In Mark, he's talking about the rule. Marriage is for life. Rule divorce out of your conversations. If you and your spouse are having difficulty, don't fight and use divorce as a bargaining tool. It's not a bargaining tool. It is dangerous. Instead, you make up your mind, we are staying together, but we're going to work through whatever problems come our way. Marriage is for life. Cherish it. Thanks for watching.